All right, first and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Most High God, Yahweh, and we do so in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ain't called Christ, Yahweh Shai. All right, we'll back at y'all with another uh, Friday Night Live. Online here. Six nine. It'll be on uh, Black News 102. Black News 102. Tomorrow evening, uh, more uh, Lord Abba, um, and it'll be are we the are we the are we the Moabite the Moabites or the Israelites, the historical Moabites or the biblical Israelites? That's that's the topic of debate for tomorrow after camp. But let me get Ezekiel the twenty third chapter. <clears throat> We want to start. Start at the top. We're gonna break this whole chapter down. Start at the top. Read to about three. Con. <clears throat> we got precept. Go ahead. Con. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 23. The word of the most high came again upon unto me. Read on. There were two women and the daughters of one mother. Uh-huh. What and does that mean? Two women, the daughters of one mother. Who is the two women? Who is the mother that their daughters are? There you go. Northern kingdom and southern kingdom. Read on. And whoredoms in Egypt. And they did what? Committed whoredoms in, in Egypt. All right. Which we're going to go into in a second. What verse are we at? Verse 3. Verse 3. And they committed whoredoms in Egypt. Right? Let's go to Leviticus 25. Hold that. Let me Leviticus 25. God. Chapter 20. Verse 5. Uh-huh. Then I will set my face against that man. Uh-huh. And against his family. Read on. And will cut him off. And all that go a whore. And all that go what? A whoring after him. A whoring. Read on. To commit whoredom uh -huh. with Molik uh -huh. from among their people. That's how you prove what spiritual whoredom and spiritual fornication is. Idolatry, right? Brother New is idolatry. That's the precept to prove it's idolatry. You commit whoredom with another God. It says that these two women committed whoredom. Right? Give me Jeremiah 3 and 9. Con. Yeah, we so we all have <clears throat> Look at Jeremiah chapter three, verse nine. Uh-huh. And it came to pass this of her whoredom uh -huh. that she defiled the land uh -huh. and committed uh -huh. the stocks. That's another precept to prove. Nine. What whoredom or or spiritual adultery or fornication is, is worshiping other gods' idolatry. Right? God. So give me Joshua 24 and 14. Matter of fact, somebody else needs to be getting these precepts. You need yeah. to just hold Ezekiel 23. 23. What you need? Yeah, read three again. I need uh, Joshua 24 and 14. But, uh, Ezekiel or you want to Ezekiel 23. Call. Back yeah. in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 23, verse 3. Uh -huh. And they committed whoredoms in Egypt. In Egypt, they, these two women, as, as Officer Yash has identified them, the southern and the northern kingdom, Judah and Israel, have committed whoredoms in Egypt. Read that. Joshua chapter 24, verse 14. Uh-huh. Fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. Read. And put away the gods which your father served uh -huh. on, on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. You see that? He said, put away those gods. So what were we doing over those uh, that 400 years of sojourning, or it was a less than 400 years? What were we doing? We were worshiping idols. Quick question. Did you have to repent? 
to get saved out of Egypt? No. Did you have to get right with God to be saved out of Egypt? No, you didn't. He just came and saved you. Right? Though, though you were worshiping filthy idol. He came and saved you through Moses, right? That was it on that? Uh, it says, serve, serve ye Yahweh. Serve ye Yahweh now. Do not serve who you served in Egypt. So these two women, so basically what it's saying is God married two hoes, essentially, which is you. You're the hoe that God married. Understand that. Go back to that in Ezekiel. Con. Go back at three. Con. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 23, verse three. Uh -huh. And they committed whoredoms in Egypt. They committed whoredoms in Egypt. All 12 tribes committed whoredoms in Egypt. Read on. They committed whoredoms in their youth. In their youth. We, meaning, what, when, where do we become a nation of people? Those where we became a nation of people. Egypt, right? So in our youth, in our infancy, young as being a nation, we were being hoes in Egypt. Worshipping the gods of Egypt. Why do you think so many of our people are so silly and simple and susceptible to all the ways of Egypt now today? about this egyptology now nigga because you was worshiping the same god you was doing all this madness when we came into existence as the israelite right right go ahead their breasts pressed they were their breasts pressed what does that mean the breasts were pressed of israel I mean keep going and there they bruised the teats of their virginity meaning you were raped by the Egyptians, their ideology. You were raped by their philosophy. You were raped by their idols. All right? Go ahead. Verse 4. And the, five. Go ahead. And the names of them were Ahola, uh -huh. the elder. The elder, read on. And Ahola Ba, her sister. Ahola, which is the northern kingdom, right? And what's the other one? Ahola Ba. Ahola Ba, that's the southern kingdom. Okay, the northern kingdom is referred to as the elder. When you deal with the two sisters, as you see, especially in the book of Ezekiel, the northern kingdom is the elder. Why would the northern kingdom be the elder? Yes, Reuben and Simeon is born first, right? So go ahead. And they were mine, and they bear sons and daughters. Then they were his, meaning then they became married unto the Most High, married to the Most High out of Egypt. And begat sons and daughters. Read on. Thus were their names. Samaria is a Ahola, mm -hmm. and Jerusalem is a Holaba. Uh huh. Keep going to five. And Ahola played the harlot. Ahola, which is who? The northern kingdom, right? Go ahead. Played the harlot when she was mine. Uh -huh. When she was mine, Ahola played the harlot when she was mine. Meaning after covenant, and we were given the land. Then the northern kingdom played the harlot. Read on. And she doted. She doted on her lovers. Who knows what it means to dote? Look upon. It means to be, not just look upon, it means to be infatuated with. Yeah, I was going to say yeah. look upon lustfully. Yeah. Lustfully, exactly. <laughs> to develop an infatuation. Them. Read it again from the top. And Ahola played the harlot when she was mine, uh -huh. and she doted on her lovers. So she was infatuated with the other nations, the northern kingdom. Right? Read on. On the Assyrians, her neighbors. And especially the Assyrian. The northern kingdom had a special infatuation for the people of Assyria. Cons for five. Okay, give me Leviticus 20 and 26, please. Yeah, right. Leviticus chapter 20, uh, verse 26. Read. And ye shall be holy unto me, uh -huh. for I, the Lord, am holy, uh -huh. and have ser and have severed you Read. from other people, Read on. that ye should be mine. Right. Go ahead. A man also, or woman. No, no, no. <clears throat> so when it says she played a harlot when, when the kingdom was his, he said, when you were 
from mine you play the heart. You make us hurt us from the world. No business doting upon the other nations. But at that period in time, that's when you began to come infatuated, especially starting with the northern kingdom. Develop an infatuation with the other nations, the Egyptians, but especially the Syrians or the Assyrians, rather. Right? right? Go ahead. We'll back to Ezekiel. Back to Ezekiel. God. To 10. God. Five again. Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 5. Uh -huh. And Ahola played the harlot when she was mine. After God, after the most high, severed nations, the northern kingdom played the harlot. Read. And she doted on her lovers. Uh huh. And she was infatuated. Read on. On the Assyrians, her neighbors. Especially the Assyrians who lived directly north. Right. Read on. Which were clothed with blue. Uh huh. Captains and rulers, them desirable young men. When they took a look, when the northern kingdom, the native Indians, when they saw how the Assyrians, when they saw how they had their system set up, how they had their kingdom set up, they were infatuated with it. Right? Read on. Desirable young men, uh -huh. horsemen riding upon horses. Uh -huh. Thus, she committed her whoredoms with them. Meaning what? She began to worship the idols of Assyria. With all of them that were chosen men of Assyria. Uh -huh. And with all of whom she doted. Her idols, she defiled herself. She defiled herself. So what did the Hispanic and Native Indian do? He began to bow down to all the gods of Assyria. And that's the major sin of the northern kingdom. Read on. Verse 8. Neither left she her whoredoms brought from Egypt. See, that's a key. Read it again. Neither. Neither. Read on. Left she her whoredoms. Left she. Read on. Brought from Egypt. So it says not only did she begin to worship and commit whoredoms with the Assyrian, she never left her whoredoms in Egypt. What does that mean? Somebody give me first Kings. I need first Kings about 11 or 12. King Jeroboam. It says she never left. So we know that while in Egypt, our people worship other gods. It said the northern kingdom never left those gods. All right. And there's a telltale sign and proof that the northern kingdom never left worshiping the gods of the Egyptians. All right. We will get it for you here in the book of Kings. First Kings is either 11 or 12. Probably 12. Go to 12. It's got to be 12. Go to 12. 12. Verse 31, when he made a house of high places. Oh, yeah, we're going to start. Uh, 26. Start at 26. All right. Okay. Uh, First Kings 12 and 26. Uh -huh. And Jeroboam said in his heart, return to the house of David. Read it on. If this people go up to do sacrifice in the house of the Lord at Jerusalem, then shall the heart of this people turn again unto their Lord, even unto Rehoboam, king of Judah. Mm -hmm. And they shall kill me and go again to Rehoboam, king of Judah. And the king took counsel and made two calves of gold uh -huh. and said unto them. He made two calves of gold. Is this not the same thing the children of Israel told Aaron to make? He said, make a golden calf. Who knows what the golden calf represents? Who knows what it means, the golden calf? Not by all pure. That's a more by that's more by God, right? Cap by all pure, I believe. Yeah, I it's more by God. Who knows what a golden calf represents? Well, they, sacrifices. Yeah, of course it's sacrifices, but that represents something. I mean, it's God. You understand? That's what the golden calf represents. The golden calf represents a female deification. All right. 
We break it down. Matter of fact, you know what? We'll get into some Hebrew. Somebody, real quick. I'm gonna look it up. Watch. What 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 verse is that? I? Twenty uh, eight. Twelve First Kings and twelve and twenty eight. Come on. What's this? Yes. Hmm. Watch this. Wrong. Do it work. I haven't been getting any updates. So. Oh yeah, here. Watch this. No, no, that's not what I want. I want. I'm, I'm looking for something else. One second. Yeah. Now it, it's a fertility symbol, and that's that's this is what this is how you're gonna understand it. It's a fertility symbol. It's all about fertility worship with the Hamitic. Um, it's all about fertility symbols. Okay. Asterisk is um, the word star. Now we're going to make sense of this in a second. It's the word for star. See, you, brothers, who's Catholic? Who is Catholic? I know you, you was Catholic, right? A little bit. You was baptized Catholic. You said what? I don't know what I'm talking about, but but it, it all links in ISIS and all that. Like, what was your church called? What Catholic church? St. Jude. St. Jude's, right? Okay, so you know how Mary is often uh, uh, depicted, right? Yeah, always. Right. So there's a there's like a um there's a there's a church in La Jolla. It's called um I. Our Lady is dealing with Mary worship, right? What is called Our Lady, Star of the Sea, okay? And you have her there depicted with what you would understand to be a, a so-called five-pointed star. A five-pointed star is not a star at all, nor but chiefly the inverted five-pointed star, which you would call a pentagram. You, you see Satan worship first have that it. Because it's some ancient fertility. It, it has nothing to do with us. Yeah, well, that's Baphomet. That's Baphomet. That's why Baphomet is androgynous. Because it's it's emerging of female and male deities. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's like masculine, but then it has breasts. You see what I'm saying? Um, One second, let me. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hold on. See, but when you take this back, you go to Strong's H6252, which is the word for asterisk, and it'll say asterisk Istar, uh, which we know Semiramis, the queen of heaven. But then when you take it back etymologically, you see the word just means a flock or an increase of cattle, right? And you take it back all the way to its original origin, H6238. It just means um, to become rich or increase. So it's just talking about a calf being fruitful, a fruitful female calf. Wow. That's all this whole world. You see the inverted pentagram and all those various things. You think it's a damn inverted calf's head that symbolizes that fertility. You see what I'm saying? They were doing that. That's what we were doing. And the northern kingdom never really stopped doing it. So the ox is a whole different thing. The ox? Like a like an ox animal? Yeah, like the one that has uh, That's a bull. Yeah, that's a bull. That's a bull. Which yeah. that's that's it's dealing with worship. That's dealing with uh Molech. Molech is you see more popularly an owl, but Molech also appears as a bull as well. You see what I'm saying? 
I mean, it got the sun up there. You see it in Egypt, and you see it in Canaan, and you see it in Babylon. You see what I'm saying? So the northern kingdom was still keeping it up. And then that's why the northern kingdom is more prone to mother worship. That's why there's such a zeal for Mary amongst the northern kingdom tribes. You see what I'm saying? What's the word? Diosa. You see what I'm saying? There's this Diosa vibration amongst the northern kingdom tribes. All right. You go anywhere. Number one in the Catholic Church, Mary is the Catholic Church. Mary is above God in the Catholic Church. If you've been in there, then you would understand it. When you're saying a prayer and you're saying, Holy Mary, Mother of God, you see what I'm saying? You would understand that. Guadalupe, Our Lady of Guadalupe, right? You see what I'm saying? Guadalupe. And, and the Muslims do it as well. The um, uh, Fatima, they call her Fatima. You see what I'm saying? Do so they have it down there uh, at the park. We went to, with, oh, was the Queen of Heaven? The, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. At, at Chicano Park. Yeah, at Chicano yeah. Park, you see it. You see what I'm saying? So this, that the, the Northern Kingdom has always had that zeal for the female worship that they got from Egypt. And they're picking it up with the black, that's been cast. Fertility. You see what I'm saying? That's all it's dealing with. Go back there. Oh, where are we at? Finish that. Finish that. Uh, Second Kings. Yeah, you're not a white woman. It's God. All right. Uh, First Kings 11. And, I'm sorry. First Kings. First Kings 12. Verse uh -huh. 28 again. Read. Whereupon the king took counsel and made two calves of gold uh -huh. and said unto them, it is too much for Jerusalem. He said, don't go all the way down south of Jerusalem. That's too much. That's too far of a trek. Read on. Uh, it is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Behold, thy God, thy gods, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. These who brought you out of Egypt, you remember them from Egypt. Egypt. And we worship these in Egypt. That's what he's talking about. And that's what they put in the um the chat, Hathor. When you look these gods up, you'll see it. On Google Images, what I'm talking about. These calves being represented. And it that symbolizes a feminine vibration. All right? That brought you out of Egypt. Don't go down south worshiping Yahweh. That's too far of a journey. Read. And he knew that if they went to Jerusalem, they would want to get with a uh, Rehoboam, the righteous king. Ra is a Jeroboam. Jeroboam is right. Go ahead. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. It was a power move for him because if they, because think about it, if you're supposed to be subject to me. But in order for you to do the primary thing in your life, which is to worship your God, you got to go to where another king is at. Be subject to me. I'm going to just go get down with him. And he said they would have revolted against him and killed him. And then Rehoboam would have had all the land back. So he said, no, here's what we got to do. We got to make idols for the northern kingdom to worship. And it's sinker, right? So go ahead. Uh, verse verse 29. Uh -huh. And he said, one, and Bethal. And the other he put in Dan. That's right. So they had, a, you could either go to Bethel or you could go to Dan to see these gods. You ain't got to go all the way down south to Jerusalem. Right? Read on. And he made an house. I'm sorry. Verse 30. And this thing became a sin. For the people went to worship before one, even unto Dan. Mm -hmm. And he made an house of high places and made priests of the lowest of the people. He said he made priests of the who? People. So this is where you get uh, Santeria from. This is where you get Buharia from. This is where you get the Gadite medicine men and shaman and doing peyote and a damn a TP and getting high all damn day. This brother, no, he was on that reservation, man. You see what I'm saying? He knows what was happening with them damn Gadites going off. All that comes from right here in the Bible. Priests of the lowest of the people. They created a witchcraft idolatrous system. Levites from the north. Go ahead. I was going to say they were doing the like MDMA. Oh, yeah. Eyes. All them various um uh, in, in, intoxicants. The hallucinogens. That's what they are. Doing hallucinogen uh, drugs. That's what the Northern, that's what the Aztecs were doing. What the Mayans, what the Gadites were doing. Go ahead. Weren't the, the Romans doing that also? Oh, of course. The white man, of course, is on. has always been a drug addict his whole, his whole life. <laughs> he said it to a damn <laughs> volcano. The white man is up in volcano. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it at all. Many drugs as he want and not be affected. Yeah, actually, they, they promote it too, like a Ferry Rosen turn. Remember? Yo, yeah, yeah, he wants you to do culture. DMT. Right. DMT, right? You like, had some like, like Big Fur. Yeah, that's right. Big Furco, man, he's a millionaire <laughs> drug addict. 
party hard all night, get up, go to work. All right. Black man may take a hit of crack and life is <laughs> over. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> All right, he said, we got to put this in. Don't worry about it. If white people get hooked on it. We'll be okay. It's these niggas. It's going to just run, ravish them. The white man has been on drugs, heroin. He's been doing crystal meth. He's been doing cocaine. And he's been freebasing, too. Remember, the white people, they freebase, right? <laughs> My mother told me, she said, back in the 80s, she said, break of the white people, they, the jobs, they were freebasing in the suburbs. <laughs> All right? And they were, and they were cool. On the weekends, they're freebasing. They're weekend warrior freebasing. The black man and Hispanic man is not wired like that, all right? We started doing drugs, and it just destroyed our community immediately. Azan. When you said freebasing, you're talking about them running naked? It was like the step before they put the baking soda with it, all right? Yeah. They're just like smoking the cocaine. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. A little bit different than crack. It wasn't quite crack yet. It was almost, it was the step before crack. Yeah, no Brillo. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no Brillo. Brillo. No Brillo. Yeah. Just straight just, bass. Just straight bait. That's why they call it, hey, pump that bass. <laughs> Niggas are just bass head. That's where you get the thing, the term bass head from. They were just smoking, <laughs> just smoking bass. On a bass look, they were smoking it on this okay. basis level. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was doing that. It was going to work and, and, and paying this, you know, paying this mortgage and earning the salary. You start doing that, so you're, you you no. you guys are on the street. You know Go who else does it? Uh, Ham. Ham can do it. Ham is heavy. Ham is heavy on them on them uh them co coca leaves, man. Yeah, and they just eating it. They just they chewing it. Good, and they straight, man. You don't never see no ham like this out there, but yeah, it, it's unlawful to chew it. Yes, yes, that's not a that's not a, 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 a it's it's used. It it's it can be used. Using the word. Yeah, it can be used for medicinal. It can be used medicinally, like as a. Do a procedure on you. They can use it as like a, a, to numb you. What about the, the farmers in Philadelphia? Because they use it for altitude. Because they be so damn high up there. They on that damn Peruvian flake. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that familiar with uh, uh see, what they're doing in the mountains of Peru. It's for a purpose. If you if you're up that high, if you, or if you're going up that high for whatever reason, then that's when it would be useful. Might walk around. <laughs> like 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 tobacco chew. You know how a baseball player had a tobacco chew. The hand might have cocaine. You see, what I'm saying getting high is all here. <laughs> they use a coke cloth. Oh right, to don't know right, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I want to say they don't use Novocaine no more. Yeah, it, it'll be out in 72 hours. Don't you worry about yeah, it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, but, uh, but go right, ahead. Yeah, let me finish this. Uh, uh, and he made a house of high, and he made in house of high places uh -huh. and made priests of the lowest of the people which mm -hmm. were not of the sons of levi you see that so that's where you get again all these witchcraft practitioners of the northern kingdom and the shaman and all the medicine men jeroboam all right levites got out of the north okay that's why we're a part of the southern kingdom we left we fled out of there once we seen what the hell was going on all right um that was it on that let's uh -huh. go back there to ezekiel back in the book of ezekiel chapter 23 Verse 7, uh -huh. thus she committed her whoredoms with them, with all them that were chosen men of Assyria, uh -huh. all, um, on whom she doted, with all their idols she defiled herself. The northern kingdom was like, the northern kingdom was like the guy in the movie that just wants to be down with this crew. It's, this, it's, it's a kingpin, and he's just trying to be a part of this organization. That was the northern kingdom. I'll do I we I'm just gonna do it. You see what I'm saying? So I can be down with you. Well, like gang related. Yeah, yeah, like gang related. You see what I'm saying? The Northern Kingdom just wanted to be down, man. Okay, and it's costed you a lot. It got you over here in America right now, right? So go ahead. Verse eight. Neither left she her whoredoms brought from Egypt, uh -huh. for in her youth that's the calves. In your youth, you brought them back. As soon as Jeroboam got a chance to bring them back, you never left. 
from those portals. Read on. For her youth, they lay with her, and they bruised the breast of her virginity uh -huh. and poured their whoredom upon her. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, I have delivered her into the hands of her lovers. Uh -huh. So you love the Assyrians so much. The Assyrians so much. The Most High God put them as your slave master. Read. Into the hand of the Assyrians uh -huh. upon whom she doted. Uh -huh. You were infatuated with them. Now they're your slave master with the white man this is how god works you want to be like somebody so much god will make you subject to that person just be yourself a chosen king and prince and priest and god right instead you want to be like a heathen you will be a slave to a heathen read on right these discovered her nakedness uh -huh. they took her sons and her daughters read. and slew her with the sword Ooh -wee. and she became famous among women uh -huh. for they had executed judgment and she became famous among women what does that mean everybody heard about the takedown that the assyrians did on the northern kingdom everybody heard about it that was it on 10 god all right give me uh second king 17 1 to 12. Ooh. you know uh, Second Kings chapter seventeen. So we can verse read. One. We can read about what's poetically been said that's happened to this woman. Ezekiel is summarizing it. We read the history on it. Go ahead. In the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Judah, uh -huh. began Hoshea, the son of Elat, mm -hmm. to reign Samaria over Israel nine years. Uh huh. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Like every other. Let me ask y'all something, right? <laughs> Is there any king in the northern kingdom that did not do what was evil in the sight of the Lord? Was there any king of the northern kingdom that did not do what was evil in the sight of the Lord? Of course not. Every king of the northern kingdom was evil and wicked as hell and an idol worshiper. All right. All I can say is 390. <laughs> 390. 390. 390. All right. Going back to Ezekiel. All right, try to. And he try to, <laughs> try to go try to take our break. There. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, verse two. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Uh huh. But not as the kings of Israel that were before him. He wasn't as bad though. Hold on now. He was wicked, but he wasn't as wicked as some of these Puerto Ricans that reigned before him. All right, go ahead. Against him came Shalmaneser, uh -huh. king of Assyria. Yeah, here comes Shalmaneser. Who knows Second Ezra's the thirteenth chapter? Yeah. You read it when you talk about how the Native Indians and Latinos got over here. Shalomanessar, can we see here? Shalomanessar, king of Assyria, and gave him presents. Uh huh. And what did he do? And gave. I'm sorry, Salaki. And Hoshea became his servant and uh -huh. gave him presents. Jose did what? Hoshea did what? And gave him presents. He became his servant. Presents. This is how much of a piece of garbage the Northern Kingdom was being at that time. You were so afraid. You wanted to be down with the Assyrians so much that you became a servant to the Assyrians. Or you gave yourself to be a servant. And here you bowed down before him and gave him presents. And you can see this. Okay, on what is it called? I want to say it's the Lakesh. You can see that the actual, um, they commemorated, the Assyrians commemorated this and had the northern kingdom king coming and bowing down before it. It's in the archaeology. It's written in stone. And you see men with braids. You see clearly black men there. That's how you know who we are. But go hey, ahead. I love my Northern Kingdom brothers, man. But we was burning shit. Then we was tearing up the Greeks with the Maccabees. That's right. We damn near burnt Rome all the way down. <laughs> all the we're, way we're down. Really just it got in there and took Rome hey, In over. the necks of our enemies in every captivity. That's right. Really in the necks of That's our right. enemy at their neck. That's true, I it says, verse 4, uh, and the king of Assyria found conspiracy in Hosea. But he still listened to the king. He still found something wrong with Hosea. Here you are sucking up to the to the Assyrian, to these damn dirty, filthy heathen, trying to be like him, and he still found something to get you on. When you read about this, you say, well, the white man, he's the same way. The, he ain't, all these heathens are the same. Right. Same thing. We ain't got no business getting in bed with him, right? Go ahead. For he had sent messengers, uh, for he had sent messengers to so 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 king of Egypt uh -huh. 
and brought no present to the here, king here, of Assyria. Here he is coming to the king of Egypt now. He's trying to get with the king of Egypt to try to come against the king of Assyria now, having second thoughts about the Assyrians, right? But guess what? Of course, the heathen ain't in bed with you. They in bed with each other. So they get with each other. They find out about this. So now the king of Assyria is mad. He's coming against the northern king. Read on. Right. And he said uh, he stopped giving them gifts. It said, as he had done year by year. Every year. Here you are. Good hope. All right. This Puerto Rican man. That count, that count was short. <laughs> that count was short. He, that said, day. he said, he said, wait a minute, man. Where, where, where this, is this? Change, this change for a little light. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he said, something's wrong here. We got to do something about this. I'm going to Israel. I'm, I'm tearing stuff up, period. Go ahead. Right. He says, uh, therefore, the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. He locked him up. He went into Israel and locked this man up. Go ahead. Then the king of Assyria came throughout all the land. And then he went through the whole north, every tribe, Ephraim, Gad, everybody. Read. And went up to Samaria and besieged it uh -huh. three years. In the ninth year of Hoshea, the king of Assyria took Samaria and carried Israel away into Assyria. He came and got you. Right. Read it again. Give me uh, Ezekiel 23. Read that. Back in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 23, verse 10. Uh -huh. These discovered her nakedness. Assyria discovered her nakedness. Caught her slipping. Read on. They took her sons and her daughters uh -huh. and slew her with the sword. And that's what it's talking about in Ezekiel, this history. Uh, uh, verse 6. And in the ninth year, Hosea, Hosea, the king of Assyria, took Samaria and carried Israel away into Assyria. Hold on, wait a minute. Quick, quick side note. What's the subject matter of this chapter of, of Ezekiel 23? Of this breakdown? Isaiah. The calves. Not the calves. The subject matter is two sisters. Two holes. Two holes, right? Right? This is the this, but it's two women, right? And the most high said what? They were his. Me practice what? Polygamy. Polygamy. Somebody tries to condemn polygamy. You bring them right here and say, you have condemned God. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. All right. <laughs> you have condemned God when you condemn polygamy. <laughs> South and the north. That is right. Two sisters. All right. Not only did he have two women, he had two sisters of the same mother. Speak about it. All right, go ahead. Okay, it says, and placed them in Hala uh -huh. and, and in and Habor uh -huh. by the river of Gozan uh -huh. in the cities of the Medes. Read on. For so it was of the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their power, which had brought them up out of the land of Egypt. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared other gods. Mm -hmm. Because you worship other gods in the north. Read on. And walked in the statues of the heathen, mm -hmm. whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel and the king of Israel, which they had made. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord, their power. So the whole time, secretly, this was going on. That's why in Ezekiel 23 is said that they never had put away what happened in Egypt. The kingdom was always worshiping the gods of Egypt and also the Canaanite gods as well. That was always going on. Read on. And they built them high places in all their cities, uh -huh. from the Tower of the Watchmen to the Fen City. Mm -hmm. Meaning they had a, a, a church, okay? A high place is your modern-day church, where you go to worship multiple false gods, especially a Catholic church. You will see no more idols anywhere in the world than you will see in a Catholic church. Right. You got the stained glass window. Everybody's there. See, that's Peter. There's Paul. The Stations of the Cross, Semiramis, Caesar, everybody in there, Isaiah. And, and, and everything. Then you got, hold on now, a lot of people don't know about this. Then you got the section where it's just the candles of everybody, where you can go and you pay, you pay to pray. You got to put the quarter into the candle and they'll light it up and you pay to pray up in there. A lot of people don't know about that. You ain't been in the church. You don't know about it. You see what I'm saying? The chapel. Then you go into the chapel room. Then you got where the damn priests live up in there. Who knows what's going on? Who knows how many kids is getting touched up in there? So that's what a high place is. The same way you go to a black and Hispanic neighborhood and it's a church on every damn corner, that's what it means when it says they have built high places everywhere. 
then we do it now, right? So go ahead. Hey, shout out to my main man, Silly Dove. He took a shot back at me. He said <laughs> Joshua let, let us when uh, the Levites yeah. dropped the ball. He's right, he's right, he's right. <laughs> Like put the Ephraimite, the Ephraimite, he did. <laughs> he's sharp at that. He's good at that. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah he's an Ephraimite, man. Yeah. He's taking off on his Edomites. That's yeah, right. But um, verse uh, verse verse nine. Uh huh. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not their power, uh -huh. and they built them high places in all the other cities, from the tower of the watchman to the fence city, uh -huh. and they set them up images in groves in every high hill there you go those images and those groves this is just talking about a black or hispanic neighborhood today is the same thing it's in its high places everywhere that's how we know where the israelites you know they say that jamaica has the most uh, churches per square mile than any place in the world you see what i'm saying why do you need so many churches so you could do wickedness that's the only reason right so go ahead and they and, and under every green tree uh -huh. and they and there they burnt incense uh -huh. unto the high places as did the heathen whom the lord carried away before them. also like these botanicas northern kingdom brothers y'all know about the damn botanica botanica. yeah the botanica right they got every idol you need in there yeah, every, every Every candle, you need. every candle, every candle, every candle, hey, every every serum, every love potion, every herb, every every uh uh get rich potion, you see what I'm saying? They got all that love right potion. in there. You say love potion, you say you drink this, you give this to any woman you want, you'll have any woman you want. Take, take, take your husband. <laughs> all that, also they do the palm reading in there at your local botanical. They got one right down the street. They got probably two down the street from camp. You see, Chula Vista got one. Vista got, got one place. You see what I'm saying? The Northern Kingdom tribes, they know about it. Also, the tribe of Levi. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, go it ahead. says, and they wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger, for they served idols, wherefore the Lord had said unto them, you shall not do this thing. So this is that whoredom that the North is committing, right? Go back to Ezekiel 23. Pick God. up from where we left. Well, let's go to 13. God. Mm -hmm. Back in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 23, verse 13. No, no, no. Read 11, you got to read 11 and 12 still. God. Verse 11. And when her sister, Aholabah. Here's the little sister. Southern kingdom, Aholabah. Read on. Saw this. She was more corrupt in her inordinate love than she. You see that? The southern kingdom saw what the northern kingdom did and said, we're going to one-up what the northern kingdom did. We're going to be more wicked than the northern kingdom is. Read. And in her whoredoms, more than her sister in her whoredoms. Uh-huh, go ahead. Going to be a bigger hoe than your big sister. All right? The little sister says she's going to be a bigger hoe. And that happens sometimes. You have an older sister that's for the little sister. Listen, the older sister started being a hoe at 16. The little sister started being a hoe at 13. You see what I'm saying? Aizan. Who's the older sister? Older sister is the northern kingdom. South. Right, read on. She doted upon the Assyrians, her neighbors. So here, so he, so guess what? The the northern kingdom wanted to be infatuated with the Assyrians. So the southern kingdom became infatuated with the Assyrians. Captains and rulers uh -huh. clothed most gorgeously, gorgeously. Uh -huh. horsemen riding upon horses, young men. Keep going. Then I saw that she was defiled, that they took both one way. He said, I saw that she was defiled and they took both one way. Give me 2 Kings 18 now. 18, read 13 to 16. He said, I seen both of these holes are, are dead set on being holes. That's why it is written, if you uh, uh, you don't give them over much liberty, keep them in right, straightly. Right. Here, here the tribes are abusing ourselves with over much liberty, right? Read. Chapter 18, verse 13. Uh-huh. Now in the 14th year of King Hezekiah, uh -huh. and did uh, Sennacherib, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, uh -huh. come up against all the fenced cities of Judah and Read. took them. Uh-huh. Hezekiah, king of Judah, sent to the king of Assyria to Lachish, saying, "This is the Lachish 
uh, uh, relief. That's what it's called, the Lakesh relief. You can look it up. See the, the Israel coming and bowing down to this heathen, read. Saying, I've offended. Return from like a whole, it's Hezekiah, strong, mighty. What who knows what Hezekiah means? Zakia to the damn strong, strong. Yeah, how was my strength? And here he is, holding him strong, both to be a strong Judite, right? Go ahead, return from me. The will I ever you want, man? What do you think? Receive Kaya of Judah 300 talents of silver. So he taxed his ass. I need 300 talents now. Go, go ahead. And 30 talents of gold. Uh -huh. And Hezekiah gave him all the silver that was he found in the house. He gave it to him, right? He just gave it up, right? Go ahead. All the silver that was found where? In the house of the Lord. He went into the most highest temple and gave, gave it and gave it to a goddamn heathen. How do you think the most high feels about that? You think he feels good about that? <laughs> it's supposed to be in the house of a filthy. At that time, did Hezekiah cut off the gold from the doors of the temple of the Lord? He did. Wait, wait. He gave it <laughs> the door. I can get like the copper. I can get. You see what I'm saying? Right, go under your damn house. That's what Hezekiah was doing to pay this damn heathen Assyrian, right? And this is so y'all can take a look at this. If y'all, as y'all can see, these people bowing down were various nations. Among them were the Judites and his and uh, or the Southern Kingdom and Northern Kingdom, bowing down before this damn heathen king. Oh, excuse me. Go ahead. It says, uh, and from the pillars. Uh huh. And from the pillars, this nigga wouldn't stop, man. Go ahead. Which Hezekiah, king of Judah, had overlaid it. In he had overlaid it with gold. He had re reinforced it with gold. <laughs> then stripped it down like a crackhead and gave it to the heathen. Go ahead. Let's read 13 again, please. God. Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 13. Uh -huh. Then I saw that she was defiled. Uh -huh. He saw that she was defiled. Read. That they took both one way. They both went one way. They both became subjugated to heathen. By their own voluntary. Instead of standing up, instead of number one, being righteous and keeping the laws of the most high and standing up against the heathen, no matter how mighty their army was, both kingdoms hold up when it counted. Right? So keep going. And that she increased her whoredoms. Uh -huh. Saw men portrayed upon the wall. Ooh, uh, she saw the men portrayed upon the wall. Who, uh, well, I need to know who's studying archaeology in here, who's studying history in here. Because when you talk about men being portrayed upon the wall, y'all should know who this is talking about. Y'all should know what kingdom this is talking about. Men portrayed upon a wall. Right? Go ahead. The images of the Chaldeans. The images. She saw the goddamn Somalian. The Judites, the, the, the African-American, West Indian, and Haitian saw Somalians on walls. Yes, they got struck and infatuated. With some damn stinking Somalian on a wall. And just like now. All right. Guys who want to be Crips like you. <laughs> you saw them on the wall and you wanted to be like this. You said, oh my, look at how they are portrayed on a wall. The images of the Chaldeans portrayed with vermilion. Uh-huh. Girded with girdles if, upon if their loins. If y'all look at if y'all look at the walls of Babylon, everybody and just look into the walls of Babylon, you'll see exactly what it's being spoken about. And that's what struck you. If you look at it, it's mag the walls of Babylon were magnificent. The white man has taken entire walls from Babylon and put them in European museums. So right, you can British see museum. it right in the British damn museum. You want to go see the wall of Babylon, it's not in Iraq. It ain't in Babylon. It's in Berlin. It's in London. It's in Paris at the Louvre somewhere. This is where you'll find the walls of Babylon. Where they magnificently arrayed these these Kushites with the heathens. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. 
girded with the girdles upon their loins, uh -huh. exceeding in dyed attire upon so, their heads. So that's the thing about the Babylonians. The Babylonians were known for their, their marvelous and decorous dressing. All of them princes uh -huh. after the manner of the Babylonians of Chaldea, uh -huh. Chaldea the land of their nativity. Uh -huh, go ahead. And as soon as she saw them with her eyes. As soon as the south, as soon as Judah, Benjamin, and Levi saw the walls of Babylon, what happened? She doted upon them. She got infatuated. Oh, yeah, we need to pull pull up the walls of Babylon for me. And, and y'all see some of these walls of Babylon, they got they got uh who knows Bell and the Dragon? Who knows what that is in the Bible? In the Apocrypha, it's something called Bell and the Y'all ain't read Bell and you wear Bell and the Dragon? You know about it, right? You know it's a hard, you know Azan, you know about Bell and the Dragon? We might go into it today. It's a story about Daniel waging a war. Babylon, Adam, Babylon, he said, look, he said, you worship nothing. I worship the only living God. He proved it with. Then he said, well, look, the dragon lives. They had a dragon in Babylon. Mm. Is this, is, is that creeping out? Is that spooking out yet? That they had a dragon in Babylon? A dragon is not fly around and breathe fire. So you can understand that's not what a dragon is. A dragon is a lizard. They had a, you said, what? Um, but it was a lizard, and you said, "Okay, that was herbivores." And Daniel understand that it was herbivores. It was able to, right? He said, "I, God, like God, scared of this dragon." Daniel walking up to it like this nigga eat leaves. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about him. I'm gonna kill him, no problem. He eat leaves. That's cool, right? But they had this dragon that they had, or, or, or a lizard, so you so we could get the spookism off of it. They had a lizard there. You see what I'm saying? But the, the word for dragon, that's where the word dragon comes from, and then it's it's later became mythological as we understand it now. But a dragon is just a lizard. You see what I'm saying? Really, a dragon means, uh, 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 it means eyes. That's all it means is eyes, sight. You see what I'm saying? Um, so as we can see, uh, that's it. That's good. It's right, right there. Boom. Pass it to me. So, so y'all can see, this is what, this is, um, y'all see the men. All right. The, yeah. That, that's, that's Babylon. We saw this in, in my, my, mind you in its glory. All right. Years ago, we saw this not, and that it, 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 it looks Damn near magnificent now. Imagine how it looked 2,700 years ago. This one right here. This is the one. Better than this one. All right? Because it's got the dragon on it. Let me try to blow it up for you. It, it, that, blue, that blue wall show you the, the dragon. Going off a tether. He's tethering, so you know it's going kind of slow. Well, that's, that's a masterpiece. That's that like is target. Of what the, uh, it's just getting wooed off of pictures. You see what I'm saying? And and that's why, but 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 the most high calls out how stupid it is to do that. Because why don't actually did that? The person who made it. Has more power than that wall could ever have. Oh no, that's going to a whole nother. Uh, what's your name? Um, Azan. Yeah, part of, like the shit they're doing today, right? With all the photoshopping. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? People get infatuated and begin to dope. When you read the apocrypha, it says the same thing about them uh, finding the, the pretty much the best artist to make it of the best fashion. There we go. And that's when they start to worship it. They're putting that's the better right. it gets. If y'all see it here, you. The kingdom. If y'all seen, there's a lion. The lion is golden, and the lizard or the dragon is like a yellow. See it there. That's a dragon that they worship, or a lizard that they worship in Babylon. We saw this, and we didn't know what to do. Damn, we want something like that. We just got walls. We just got. I just. I just got stone where I live at. Look at how these Babylonians is doing. 
<laughs> yeah, it's true. That's true. That's true. Give me um. That's pretty much all they had. What the walls? Artwork. Yeah, artwork. They had stuff that was would get you, and that's why the scriptures. Um, which I gotta bring this out because I've been whole, sitting on this research for a long time. Egypt is they got what the all and I right? Everybody know what the all and I with Egypt. When you read in the scriptures, the scriptures always talk about the deceitfulness of the eye. That was what's wrong with the nations and even became wrong with us is you just getting all wild off of what you see with your with your eyes. But things ain't always what they seem. You see what I'm saying? The most high tried to teach us that through the Torah. But we just ignored it. And this is how we fall victim to being infatuated and doting upon the Assyrians and the Babylonians. Right, so go ahead back and uh, you see, you, is he tethering off of your no, no, okay. people just see it like, like we got uh, 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 girls is wearing padded bras, they putting on all this makeup, they trying to make they uh, uh, they got something for uh, uh for they for they quiver now to make they quiver look like it's uh, uh, uh bulging out their damn pants now, all right, you see, it to make it look like they got a camel toe. Get this girl, and she ain't half of what you thought yet, yeah, right? Right? Uh, uh, they got the What's that? The, 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 I see the big old girl. Oh, the girdle, the girdle. You see what I'm saying? All that, yeah, and here you are. Trainer. You just looking at her glance, and that's what you going off of. You see what I'm saying? Then you realize you might have made a, wrong, a bad decision. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Too. And the transgenders. See that your eyes deceived you, deceived you, damn man. You see what I'm saying? But your eyes—that's why you can't always trust what you see. Remember they had the uh, they had that old school skit in the that old movie. I'm gonna get you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get, get you, sucker. sucker. Uh -huh. Remember he took he took oh, the chick home. She started popping off everything. He said, this, this this hair. She said this ear everything. Took Every, the leg off. Remember the leg. The leg came off. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's what sets it apart. You can't always just go off of your eyes, man. That'll get you in trouble. Yeah, and we're we, we gonna see about it. Go ahead, Captain. Uh, it's uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14, uh, starting at 18. Mm -hmm. Also, the singular diligence of the artificer. He said, for the ignorant, it's a more superstitious. You see, you see that just bugging you out, just the way it, look, it looks so damn good. Bug you out. Go ahead. For he, he willing to please one in authority, forced all his skill to the best fashion. Mm -hmm. That's how Caesar Bogier got made. That's what I remember. That damn Mexican came up oh, to camp. He had beautiful green eyes. He's talking about this painting <laughs> that some white man painted, and he got wooed by Aizan. All the magnificent windows. That's what the whole Catholic Church is about. Where does the Catholic Church come from? Babylon. It's the Babylonian mystery system. That's oh, what it is. Well, the church has said, neither left she her hoard of. Remember? Brought yeah. Her. You see that? All, and then it go into Egypt. Right? That's why niggas get so obsessed. Egypt, they had this gold. They had the turquoise. They had all this various stuff. And you looking at it, turquoise is a nice color. These blues and these golds, you looking at it like um, like the warriors. Um, You know how the warrior, that, that, blue and, that blue and yellow, that's how it look in Egypt and in Babylon like you've seen on the wall. That's a That's a captivating combination you see what i'm saying and here you are like oh my god just look at this they do losing that, your mind they do that with advertisement right with advertisement almost any any team's colors are strategic they don't the colors right. these colors are going together for a reason you see what i'm saying like you see them um, um like like in new york all almost all the teams in new york is royal blue and orange almost all of them and the purpose is because they're exact opposites on the color spectrum so when you put the opposites together, it's really going to pull your attention to it because they're opposites. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, those aren't the only two opposites. You see opposites in a lot of other ways and how they utilize through advertising. It's to get you all wild and woo. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The book of Ezekiel. Okay, okay, okay. This is the last one. Uh, verse 20. And so the multitude, a Lord by the grace of the word. Oh, that's the word. Yeah. You see it, you become a Lord by the grace of the word. And that's what happened to the southern kingdom in Babylon. That's what happened to the northern kingdom in Assyria. Go ahead. Uh, and and so the multitude, 
the Lord by the grace now for a God, which a little before was but honored as a man. Mm -hmm. A lion up there. That's just a lizard. You're worshiping it because of how gracefully this artist put it on a wall. Right? Read. Uh, occasion to deceive the world for men serving either calamity or tyranny did ascribe unto souls and stock the incommunicable name. The gate of Ashtar. Send represent this the planet Venus. Maybe we're looking at just a wall the gate. Yes, I don't worship. Yeah, exactly. We, we looked at that wall. That's all right, cool. That's cool. It symbolized worshiping Venus to these people. It could have just been a wall, and that's cool. You could just have a t shirt, and that's cool. People say, Oh, people accuse us of idolatry yeah. for this. This is just a cool thing. It's just cool. Yeah, I just we just like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not we're not oh Lord, oh my god, it's so cool that I'm gonna be driven to that we're saying prayers to the great Sakari signet every night. You see what I'm saying? Nah, bro. It's it's just something. You see, it's just a picture you like. But what do the heathen do? They begin to worship it. And then we hear about this, this is what they worship, it, and here we are. Now we want to go and worship it. Con. Right? Go ahead. Con. Back in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 23, verse 16. Uh -huh. And as soon as she saw them with her eyes, she doted upon them and sent messengers unto them in Chaldea. So, so what did that mean the southern kingdom did? Living in Babylon. We saw these magnificent gates. And we begin, we sent messengers to Babylon, meaning we wanted to get in, we wanted to get down with them. We wanted to become a part of what they had going on. We wanted to get in bed with them. Right? Like a ho, she sees a nigga that she likes. Here she want to text him on the Lord. She want to tell whoever she knows, plug me with such and such. Like a ho. Go ahead. And the Babylonians came to her into the bed of love. Oh, so here's love now. So here you are, Southern Kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Here we are cheating on our man through idolatry. Our man being the most high Yahweh. Idolatry. Go ahead. And they defiled her with their whoredom, and she was polluted with them. And here we are now, worshiping Semiramis, worshiping Tammuz, worshiping Nimrod. Right? Go ahead. And her mind was alienated from them. And whose mind? Her. Her, her mind was alienated from them. So our mind became strange to our, right? Go ahead. So she discovered her whoredoms and discovered her nakedness. Then my mind was alienated from her. Then once the most high seen what we was doing, it became alienated from us. Right. Have her. Go ahead. Like as my mind was alienated from her sister. Uh-huh. What does that mean? How was the most high's mind alienated from the northern kingdom? Kind of put her away. How did he put her away? Kick her out of the land. So here comes Judah, Benjamin, Levi. We're kicked out of the land now. We're in Babylon. Exactly. He's alienated from us. He don't want nothing to do with us. And this goes into the Gentiles in the New Testament and all that. These idiots over here thinking it's about talking about the other nations. You can't get Israel on point. Well, here we are getting the other nations on point. This alienated, this Gentile, this strange. It's all talking about Israel. Our mind in the worship in the Babylonians, the Most High said, I don't know you niggas. Right? Go ahead. Ability of the Lord. Give, right? Go ahead. Verse, verse 19. Uh -huh. Yet she multiplied her whoredoms in calling to remembrance the days of her youth. Therein, Salak. Wherein she had played the harlot in the land of Egypt. Uh huh. For she doted on pawn their uh, paramours. What is a paramour? Side piece. That's what a paramour is. Go ahead. Who's so, yeah, we, so, so, so the southern kingdom is a hole that got side niggas. Now, so now what? The black woman got side niggas now, right? Paramour. Paramour. That's a side, that's a on the side lover. Go ahead. Whose flesh is as the flesh of asses. <laughs> Who knows what that means? And whose issue is like the issue of horses. Who knows what that means? I, listen, I'm giving money to whoever knows what that means. Who's not at the table? <laughs> huh? Huh? No, no, it's not. It's a, it's a hoe. A hoe. It's a female that's doing something with a man. 
whose flesh is as the flesh of asses, and issue is the issue of asses a donkey. What does that mean? <laughs> I'll give you guys a hand. <laughs> okay, so 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 when we're dealing when we're dealing when we're dealing figuratively, Judah is a woman. The Southern Kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Now, we say Judah. I'm talking about all the three tribes. The other nations are like a <laughs> are, are to are to this woman like a man who's what they would call well endowed. A well-endowed man, meaning it's attractive to her carnal uh, desires. That's what it's talking about. So when we saw how carnal Babylon and Egypt and Assyria were and how, how much indulgence that they had in the fleshly and what's called hedonism, it made us want to go and deal with and get into their, their lifestyle. That's what it's talking about. Go ahead. Uh, well, this is a Proverbs 23, right? Where is the deep, a deep ditch? A deep ditch, right? But go ahead. Verse 21. Thus thou callest to remembrance the lewdness of thy youth. Uh -huh. so, then, so wait a minute. Again, what, what's the question I asked earlier about Egypt? Did we have to repent and stop worshiping idols to get brought out of Egypt? No. Everything we did in Egypt. Or, so what did most I say? Thus to remembrance the lewdness of our youth. So so part of this punishment in Assyria and Babylon was punishment for what we did in Egypt that we never got punished for. He said he called it to remembrance now. So I, I let it slide, but now that you niggas done went back into it, I'm, I'm going to punish y'all for that too now. Go ahead. Like what you do if a woman messes up. Start, yeah, now I'm a, yeah, now I'm going to start bringing up some more stuff. I'm going to bring up more charges on you. I remember what you did two weeks ago. You was out three in the morning. What the hell was you doing? In bruising thy teeth uh -huh. by the Egyptians for the paps of thy youth. Remember when you was worshiping the gods of Egypt now, read it on. Therefore, O Ahalabah, thus said Yahweh the power, behold, I will raise up thy lovers against thee. The same way with the northern kingdom. I will raise up your lovers against thee. In the case of the Babylonians, read on. From whom thy mind is alienated, uh -huh. and I will bring them again against thee. On every side. So with the main people that we was in love with was the Babylonians. So the Babylonians were what? The main people that came against us and put us into slavery. Right. Read on. The Babylonians. And Petcod and Shoah and Koah and all the Assyrians with them. Uh -huh. All of them desirable young men, mm -hmm. captains and rulers, great lords and renowned riding upon horses. Uh -huh. And they shall come against thee with chariots, wagons, and wheels, and with the assembly of people which shall set against thee buckler and shield and helmet round about. Mm -hmm. That's what happened, right? We all know what happened with the Babylonians, the fall of Jerusalem. Right, go ahead. And I will set judgment before them, and they shall judge thee according to their judgments. Mm -hmm. go ahead. And I will set my jealousy against thee, heal furiously with thee they shall take away thy nose and thine ears and thy remnant shall fall by the sword shall take thy sons and thy daughters and thy residue shall be devoured by the fire mm -hmm. Go ahead. they shall also strip thee out of thy clothes and take away thy fair jewels they went up into the house of the lord and got what was up in there the gold all the ornaments the 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 um what, what was it the uh, the vessels that's all they ever wanted is what's in the temple that's it even when uh what you be bringing out when they came over here to the northern kingdom it was like show us your god yeah, yeah, yeah. We once go we first. get to once we get to your god that's where the gold is. <laughs> me gold they want me gold that's where me gold <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, go ahead. i make thy lewdness to cease from the from the land of Egypt, so that thou shalt not lift up thine eyes unto them, nor remember Egypt anymore. So, so what the Most High saying is the purpose why He's bringing people against you who you were infatuated with is so you won't care about these people anymore. The water, like the white man has been destroying you in America for mm -hmm. so long, it's insane that any black people will still look up to the white man. 
it's 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 it, it literally there's some type of psychological problem going on your stockholm syndrome that there you go where after the white man did all this for you to look to him anymore is right how dumb can you be at this point in the game right go ahead verse 28 for thus said the, uh, the Lord Yahweh, behold, I will deliver thee into the hand of them whom thou hatest, of them from whom th thy mind is alienated. Go ahead. And they shall deal with thee hatefully, uh -huh. and shall take away all thy labor, and shall leave thee naked and bare. There you are, a naked strip hoe. This is like a hoe who got caught on a damn strip, nigga done took her, took her purse, all the money in the damn purse, Took her clothes off and just left her on the street naked and bare. Right, we we were then. That's what we are now. And just like them hoes, they go right back to the nigga. Yeah. And there are and our, and our idolatry because we all were back there. That's right. We kept going uh, envying our oppressor. That's right. And that's why the scripture says, "Don't envy your oppressor." Bring it out. Go ahead. And the nakedness of thy whoredoms shall be discovered both. Thy whoredoms. Mm -hmm. I will do these things unto thee because thou hast gone a whoring after the heathen and because thou art polluted with their idols. Walked in the way of thy sister. Therefore will I give her a cup. And what's in that cup, huh? Rape, robbery, murder, back to being with, <laughs> captivity, all that in cup. And guess what they had to do? Drink you get around to the drinks, all right? Yeah, drink, drink it right drink. down to that drink. Right down to the drink. It's hard. Yeah, you preach that with, uh, preach that with that other scripture where it says he's drinking a cup of a cup of my uh, Yes. Okay. Anytime the most I talking about drinking a cup, he's talking about giving hell to whoever the hell is drinking that cup. In that cup is hell, all right? Or slavery, rape, robbery, murder, backs being whipped. That's what's in that cup, all right? Now it says, eat them. He come to you, all right, and you will be drunk off of what's in that cup, and right? Naked, and so he's naked. gonna reverse it, so they're gonna be the hoe now. That's right, Edomite Mason, they're gonna be the hoe. gonna be a blonde white hoe, <laughs> all right, that's uh, right, uh, stri stripped and naked <laughs> in a red, blonde white hoe in a red dress. We're gonna rip the dress off, but bust her upside her head. You see what I'm saying? But don't say, so what don't you still gotta show now? Naked, what's called naked and afraid? That's all I'm naked and afraid. The white man is gonna be the whole nation is gonna be naked and afraid. Uh, yeah, that's right. They, they it's just a practice, it's a it's an omen, omen, really. You know what I'm saying? It's a pro, it's a prophetic symbol. I huh? would that show naked well, and afraid. Wasted away is an omen, omen. yeah. His, 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 his. His name, his, his pigment, and then ultimately his existence. That's right. Wasted, Wasted. away, mm -hmm. decimated. Verse thirty-two. Thus said the Lord Yahweh: uh -huh. Thou shalt drink of thy sister's cup, uh -huh. deep and large. So you're gonna get what the Northern Kingdom got. That's what he's telling us of the South. You're gonna get the same thing they got. Kick the hell out of your land and put in slavery. Hey, if my main man Eric Butler is watching, this right here proves. That the southern kingdom was divorced as well. Yeah, that's right. That's they got right. all the judgments that the northern kingdom got. That's right. Period. That's right. That's damn right. Where were the perks? Yeah, that's why there's a new marriage that's getting ready to happen. Right? Go ahead. Thou shalt be laughed to scorn. Ooh, thou shalt be laughed to scorn. Go ahead. And had in derision. Uh huh. And of much, thou shalt be filled with drunk drunkenness and sorrow, with the cup of astonishment and desolation. With the cup of thy sister Samaria, thou shalt even drink it and suck it out, and thou shalt break the shreds thereof. He said, "You gonna you gonna hit that cup so hard, you gonna get everything in there, and then you gonna throw the cup down in frustration because ain't no more in that cup." That sounds like what happened to the Southern Kingdom to me in Babylon and in damn America for sure. Right? Go ahead and pluck off thy own breast, uh -huh. for I have spoken it, saith the Lord Yahweh. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, because thou hast forgotten me uh -huh. and cast me behind you thy man. back. You said to hell with your man. You want to go be a hoe. A lot of women, a lot of black and Hispanic women who we can say this is true of, forgot about their man. It's hoeing to do in the world. Hmm. Read. And cast me behind thy back. Uh, cast the nigga right behind her back. Read. 
Therefore, bear thou also thy lewdness and thy whoredoms. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to deal with that. Read. Yahweh said, moreover, unto me. They got a movie. What's that movie? They, they, they did about that. Um, With the terror was in it. Um. I think it was a Tyler Perry movie. I believe it was Temptation. Temptation. They got that. Temptation is a prime example of that. She want to go be a hoe out in the world. Mm -hmm. Stew her man behind her back. Mm -hmm. She got AIDS. You see what I'm saying? Now he got a woman, and she got to look at his woman. She got to go in his pharmacy to get her aid, yeah, her AIDS medication from this man. See this man happily married with the kid, with the kid right? And here she is, just a wretched whore on the streets with AIDS. All right? It's what the hell she gets. So go ahead. Yahweh said, moreover unto me, son of man, will thou judge Ahola and Alabak? Yea, declare unto them their astonishment. So that's what, so that's like abomination. Abomination. What God, the most high Yahweh, told this prophet. Prophet? He's talking to him. Come on. Y'all got to be following. Who is the prophet? Come on, man. They, they, they think it too much. They think it too much. You say what? <laughs> the prophet is Jesus Christ. You, who's the prophet? Ezekiel. We're reading Ezekiel. He's talking to Ezekiel. Don't think too much. Just take a look at the top of the book. Ezekiel. The prophet is Ezekiel. The answer is right here on the top of your page. The prophet is Ezekiel. He's saying, Ezekiel, you go and tell them niggas and them spicks, you better stop it. All right? Stop being a damn hoe. All right, so that's what we do, All right? So go ahead. He heard son of man. <laughs> oh yeah, he heard son of man. Son of man is sometimes the son of man is talking about Yahweh Shai. Sometimes the son of man is just talking. Uh, 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 Angel. I, I, no, what's my man? Um, what's his name? Zanak. It's like it. Zanak Ariya. Are you the son of a man? He's sitting right there, ain't he? You see that? You the son of man? <laughs> okay, go ahead. They have committed adultery uh -huh, that they have done what committed adultery. So, so this is what we do we go to the streets and we say you have committed adultery Caesar Bolger with horns this is young the, and, and the black and Hispanic walk by like that's my man mm -hmm. you talking about my man you see what I'm saying yeah I am talking about him Ready he's a you. I'm telling you who your real man is Jesus is my crack <laughs> that's right she did they, they said it ain't she I saw shaking head yeah just shaking their head I can't believe that good white man like that. <laughs> they want to fight you. They want to fight you over it. Pull knives on you, right? Has it happened? Yes, it has. That they have committed adultery uh -huh. and blood is in their hands. Ooh, blood is in their hands. It's blood that's on the hands of the black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. And they need to be warned about the blood that's on their hands, just like they did at the time of Ezekiel. They need to be worn now that much more because 26, 2700 years later, it's that much more blood on our hands. God. The blood of Yahweh Shai is on our hands, matter of fact. And with their idols, have they committed adultery uh -huh. and have also caused their sons whom they bear unto me to pass for them through the fire. Oh, you see that? That's dealing with that, that, uh, that child sacrifice. Hey, through what? Planned Parenthood. You sacrifice your children. Who takes your kids now? Oh, now take your kids. Now they saying and they taking the kids and they putting it in the damn food. You drinking Pepsi? They say you drinking little Tyrone is in the Pepsi. <laughs> little Timmy is in the damn Pepsi. <laughs> little Jose is in the damn Pepsi. What? The, I didn't. Uh, what? Are you kidding me? In the Gator, whoa, 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 Gatorade? Gatorade. They saying this in the. They they saying this every damn where. Stem cell research. Part of the stem cell research is seeing how people react. And how much better people think uh, recipe is after they add a little baby to it. All right? This is what they're saying. Then. Right? Go ahead. Whom they bear unto me to pass for them through the fire uh -huh. to devour them. This they have done unto me. They have defiled my sanctuary in the same day uh -huh. and have profaned my Sabbaths. Had slain their children to their idols. Then they came to the... They came the same day into my sanctuary to profane it. And lo, thus have they done in the, in the midst of mine house. That's right. So all that wickedness was going on in the house of the Most High. Turn it into a goddamn nightclub. All right?
And then the Greeks came in and did it. You read about that in the Bible. Literally, the, the temple became a nightclub, became the spot, became where you could just go and get some, you could go and get it in right at the nightclub. Orgies in the temple of the Most High. In the temple of the Most High. That's right. That's right. Asteroid for strip club. It was, it was the joint. <laughs> the temple turned into the joint during the time of the Greeks. Right? Go ahead. Boom, 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 or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're all right. Damn it. The temple. And that very thing got us kicked the hell out of there. All right. Oh. The temple lays waste and barren to this day. Read. Con. And furthermore, that ye have sent for men to come unto whom a messenger was sent. Mm -hmm. And lo, they came. For yeah. Here can, you wanted the Babylonians. Well, here they come. Read. For whom thou did, didst wash thyself, painted thyself, slack, painted thy eyes, and decked thyself with ornaments. Wait a minute. Thou did what? Painted thy so, eyes. So it, and it start, started before that. Um, this is a female whom, the Most High is talking about. For whom thou didst wash thyself. When you found out this man was coming, you went and got in the shower, right? Read on. Painted thy eye, yeah, um, eye shadow, right? Eyeliner, eye shadow. Read on. And deck of ornaments. Uh huh. You put on your jewelry like a good hoe to try to dress up for your top trick that's coming, right? Go ahead. And sat us upon a stately bed. Uh huh. And you got on that good bed to have sex with this trick. Go ahead. And a table prepared before it. Uh huh. Whereupon thou hast set my incense and my oil. What you took was God's, and you gave it to this trick. You took what's your husband's, and you gave it to another man. Meaning you took fire. You took the, the, the gold in the temple. You took the handles off the doors of the temple, and you gave it to another nation. That's what it's talking about. Go ahead. God. And and a voice of a multitude uh -huh. being at ease was with her, mm -hmm. and with the men of the common sort mm -hmm. were brought from the wilderness. Well, what's the Sabian? What nation of the Sabians? Cushites. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Were brought Sabians from the wilderness, uh -huh. which put bracelets upon their hands uh -huh. and beautiful crowns upon their heads. Our people got in bed with the Kushites. Go ahead. Then said I unto her that was old in adultery. An old hoe. <laughs> he just called the southern kingdom an old hoe. All right. Do we know old hoes of the southern kingdom? Yes, we do. All right. Carly Red, if you watch a, a, a VH1, <laughs> that's a, a prime example of an old southern kingdom hoe. Go ahead. <laughs> Will they now commit whoredoms with her? Uh-huh. She with them? Uh-huh. Yet they went in onto her as they go in onto a woman that played the heart. Uh huh. They went into the hole. Go ahead. So went they in onto Ahola and onto Ahola ba, the lewd women mm -hmm. and the righteous men. They shall judge them after the manner of adulteresses and after the manner of women that shed blood because they are adulteresses. Is in their hands. Mm -hmm. Go on. For thus said the Lord Yahweh, up a company upon them uh -huh. and will give them to be removed and spoiled. The Assyrians and the Babylonians, go ahead. And the company shall stone them with stones uh -huh. and with their swords. Uh -huh. They shall slay their sons and their daughters and burn up their houses with fire. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And the that's exactly what happened. Con, gone. That's exactly what happened. Go ahead. It was at 70. Well, yeah, it happened before before 70, then it happened in 70. Go ahead. Uh, thus will I cause lewdness to cease out of the land. The only way for the Lord to cause the lewdness of our people to cease out of the land was to just get us out of there. Period. God. Just to get us out of there. All right? And that lewdness and the attraction and the allure of the other nations is all based upon vanity. And that's what's wrong with our people even to this day is... Our care for things that are vain. Our overwhelming right. care to just be vain as hell. All okay. right? Cut. That's what, matter of fact, give me Proverbs 31. Finish it. We go to Proverbs 31. Go ahead. 
Thus will I cause lewdness to cease out of the land uh -huh. that all women may be taught not to do after your lewdness. That's right. To never be a hoe like this again. To never go against your God again. Read on. Compense your lewdness upon you and ye shall bear the sins of your idols and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Yahweh. That's right. You shall know that the most high is the most high when you don't worship him, when you worship another God and you get destroyed. And this is why we hear oh, those of us that's in this room, brothers and sisters watching online, because we know the most high is the most high, because we sure as hell know that everything that said was going to happen in this book is that happened God, to us. God. We're the living proof of that, right? Uh, Go ahead. Like you said, because uh, the most high, in order to uh, for us to get right, we just had to get out of there. And uh, going back to the uh, northern kingdom, that's why in the second Ezra in 13, right, it says that they had to they, come. They, yeah, they said, look, that's right. the whole reason y'all wanted to come over here. said, look. We got to keep our laws, so we got to get away from all the heathens. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no heathen to be a lord at, right? Uh, but some of the heathen, they found their way over there. The Canaanites found their way over there and whatnot. Um, built them big head, built them big head. Built them all my kids, man. Oh, yeah, just trying to pick that up. Don't fall asleep. There's a key verse I want here in Proverbs 31. Everybody knows Proverbs 31 is about the about about an exemplary woman a woman that all you all you sisters who claim to the truth you are in the truth need to be aspiring to be right. and a lot of y'all are failing most of y'all are i'll be honest most of y'all is failing it's failures at this falling short of this and i'm just gonna come straight which is exactly why we're about to start lord's will the six week six weeks six weeks six week course for uh all the, all the sisters the single sisters uh, 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 or if your, your husband's in the world and he don't know the scriptures, get the written express written, express consent, written consent. That's right. Of your husband. That's right. And, and and the sisters that do get express written consent from your husband, you will not be permitted to ask any questions. Right. Any questions. Sit back and learn how to be. Ask, a ask that man questions. Thirty one. That's right. We're gonna go into right. this Proverbs thirty one. There is. It'll be live online. We either do live online, call in, or both. We we figuring out all the particulars now, but we're getting ready to launch it very soon. Read verse 30 there in Proverbs 31. This is the key point. Uh, Proverbs chapter 31, verse 30. Is this, uh, favor is deceitful. Oftentimes, what a black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man is looking for is favor. What is favor? How good the woman looks. You looking at how good she looks, read. Deceitful uh -huh. beauty is vain. You attracted to her. So that's what you like about her, that you're attracted to her. You don't like anything else about this girl other than how she looks. All right. The woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. That's right. But the favor is deceiving you, and the beauty is vain. That's all you're looking at, which of course that plays a part in selecting a mate. Let's not get it twisted. But that's the vain part. That's the very surface level part. There are plenty of fine and good-looking women who are not exemplifying what a woman should be exemplifying, who are not being a Proverbs 31 wife by any means. Being it. And these are sisters that are in the truth. They're hey, shalom and praise to you. How about some Yahweh shai? They're doing all that. And they are not Proverbs 31 material whatsoever and have nothing to offer you outside of some pussy. All right? And I'm just going to come straight. That's all you offering. That's all, all you're offering. All you have to offer is vanity. For is something that is deceitful. All right? That's all you have to offer. So a lot of you sisters are going to really have to start reevaluating yourselves in this thing. All right? And most high willing, this six weeks women course will assist uh, uh, greatly in that. That's what our intentions are. Through the spirit and power of you, how about some y'all shot? Um, one of the brothers had a question. Uh huh. Shoot. Um, he's dealing with a a woman who's not of the nation. Ooh. But he has a kid with her. Uh huh. To know if, if she could get on the classes. No. That that's a no. <laughs> that's a no, brother. I don't want it to get he. Listen, brother. These pearls are. Listen, brother. <laughs> we ain't giving these pearls out. Good, 
do you do it with her? He might be asking for a friend. He might be. He there's might a be lot asking. of that that's going on. A lot of asking for friends that is going on. You know what I mean? There's a lot of asking for friends that's going on. Uh, yeah, we don't want to give uh, any heathens any of this, these pearls. Um, for sisters, we want to uplift. The, we want to uplift the powerful daughters of Zion and show them how to be more powerful. Empower you by giving you and showing you your proper place of power. These heathens are going to try to come take it in the Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, go ahead. Bring your priest up. Sorry. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 10. Uh -huh. Who can find a virtuous woman? That's a virtuous woman now. Read. Far above rubies. You see that? Now, you can find a fine looking woman. Let me tell you something. There's a, who got, there's an application on your phone. Okay. I don't know if some of y'all may know about it. It's called the gram, Instagram, IG. So many people call it. Right. If I just go here to this, this, this uh, magnifying glass button. I uh, just, it's it's fine women. All as soon as I hit this magnifying glass, oh my god! The, the, I'm seeing Judite woman, the Latin woman. Oh my god! Right? Is virtuous. That's the question. Good, <laughs> not good lord, brother. Oh my god! But none of these hoes is virtuous. So everything that they got is vain and it's deceitful. Okay, so it's unprofitable. Questions though, we open our list. You got something? No, nah, we open it up. Questions, okay? I, I got it. Right. Oh, you can, you can look, but I got it. Let me know. Somebody asked a question earlier uh, about a camp in Florida. Get this Sicario Orlando going. Um, email us and take the class and take the 12 week course and build yourself. That's right. The, the, the kingdom of heaven with the kingdom of God is within you and the most high is waiting on your ass. And it comes not by observation. <laughs> okay. Meaning it's not a spectator sport. A lot of niggas is just standing on the sideline watching <laughs> when it comes, if not by observation, you have something. Third of her loin arms. It's talking about what she's doing is is empowering her and making her strong. The type of life that she lives, she's just empowered as a sister. You see what I'm saying? If she's following all these other qualifications, what else we got? What else? <laughs> Are you supposed to call a higher rank, my lord? Uh, I mean, you can. You can. Bible. It, it, it definitely in the Bible. Um, depending on your organization's protocols, that may be a requirement. That may not be a requirement. I know some organizations it is, and it's not always though. You know, but it's not. There's nothing wrong with that. How many people we got live right now? Yeah, we got about 128. Not really no questions. I'll no give questions? It. We get a couple more minutes. We can get the hell up out of here. Y'all, I got your question. I'm surprised. All these damn people, no question. Now y'all like that rabbi debate. Oh, tune in tomorrow to Black News 102. Black News 102, which is signed at the TV, so y'all got it. TV, the Gorilla Hebrew. Wow! <laughs> About to have another body under the belt. Lord's will. We got the more. We got to deal with the Moors tomorrow. So look out for that, Lord Abba. Anybody who's been around for a minute know about Lord Abba. So um, deal with Lord Abba tomorrow. Can your daughters tune? Can his daughters tune into the six week class? Uh, yeah. It, it, it. How old are they? How old are they? Because we're gonna be talking about some things. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're not, if they're not of age, you know, we don't want to. Um, yeah, yeah, that that's a good point. I, look, 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 I'm, 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 I'm not even thinking about. It. I said, wait, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be getting into some, some grown woman stuff. So like it. Uh. <laughs> My husband wants to know, do you guys have a camp in Hawaii? 
Listen. <laughs> no, we do we do not. And there's so many Jakes that's coming to Hawaii right now. It's it's insane, man. It's insane. Y'all got to get out of off that rock, man. That's what I'm. That's what I am going to tell you. Uh, Francis oh, yeah, J, yeah, yeah. if you want to donate, just uh, go to the way. How does he donate? Donate. You can donate right now through a super chat. If if you don't understand how that works, you're not able to do that. You can go to uh, our PayPal, our PayPal link, or our GoFundMe link. It's all in the description of this video and pretty much all of our recent videos. Our link. Uh, I want to say it's paypal uh, dot me slash Sakari, but just go in the description of the video and it'll be there. That is right now. So, uh -huh. Ooh, I mean, it, it it's up to you. It's up to you. You know what I mean? It's up to you. Uh, what do y'all say Abraham's bosom is? Oh, Abraham's bosom. Um, That's an interesting question. There's a gulf. There's an actual lake in Israel that's referred to as Abraham's bosom. But when we deal with Abraham's bosom parable, um, it's 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 a little deeper than that. Um, so y'all would have to really just check out our videos on on the breakdowns because dealing with Lazarus and that's a that's a very deep breakdown. So just look up Sakari Lazarus and you'll be able to find our our breakdowns on it. No, she always the great. Yeah, <coughs> let's get it twisted. That's not talking about hell. All right, that's that's the problem. A lot of people believe that's dealing with hell. It's not dealing with hell even a little bit. So go ahead. Uh Danny, Danny, you're in the IE. If you're in the IE, uh report to us. Uh we got so uh soldier and a couple other prospects out there. That's right. Um email us at Exodus1715. That's X O D U S one seven one five at gmail.com. Yeah, we'll get with you. We'll get, we'll get with you. We got to come up there. Who we'll come out here to San Diego every week? So um, get with them. Uh, con means okay or yes. Why do white people always watching us? Why do white people always <laughs> watching us? I mean, word, word it a little better. Can y'all do a video on the House of Yahweh? What What is that? What is the House of Yahweh? You mean like the or you mean like the group, the organization? I want to say it's like a, some type of off brand. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get the history of the Indians in the Bible. Uh, Genesis, uh, when Gad is born, <laughs> when Reuben is born, you start to get the mystery. Genesis in the 30s. For a Bible dictionary, there are 70 verses that aren't in the KJV. Okay. Thanks. All right. <laughs> you talking about second Ezra seven? Uh, does that have anything to do with hell? Is that what you're insinuating? That's all I gotta ask. Yeah, second Ezra. Yeah, second Ezra seven. So, are you? Do you believe that has anything to do with hell? Going to a few of those verses during the class. Yeah, yeah. What was that? What was that, that was a debate. That was mm -hmm. a debate with hell uh, debate with with, with, with Taz and Line. Um, yeah, hell debate. All right, that looks like it's it for the questions. What time is the Thanks. debate tomorrow? Should be around um six six Pacific nine Eastern around that time when we get out of camp. So just hold tight. It will be. On Black News 102, sign at the TV so y'all can understand. It'll be um, are we are we the biblical Israelites or the historical Moabites? Debate. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> well, amen, Lord Abba. Oh, they are a so-called Israelite group in Texas, misleading a lot of people. Okay, well we'll look into them. Thank you. We'll look into them. We got to get on top of that, you know. <laughs> on other other groups. <laughs> hey, my stalker's here. Everybody say what's up to my stalker. Black beard. 
Blackbeard, why are you stalking? Me? <laughs> I'm courting, I'm courting women. Leave me alone. Yeah, that's right. Hey, about it. There's a, there's something called a bar. It has real <laughs> women. You, know, you right. can look at it. Yeah. And, and you can touch her. Sex you can have sex with. Leave true. me the hell alone. I'm that's just gonna right. sip some wine and listen to Al Green. Oh, like, <laughs> that's right, brother. Uh, but that's it. All right. Well, with that, we give all praise, honor, and glory unto the Most High God, Yahweh. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Shai and say Shalom. Shalom. Now.